All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today I am using my iPhone 13 to record uh, with the MacBook, and I am astonished to see how great this video quality is. I wish I would have done this earlier, but nonetheless, today we are back again with another topic on the ascendant. I have spoken about the ascendant multiple times, but what I always see is that people are ignoring the ascendant. They do not pay much heed to the ascendant. Why? Because they try to see this in a very simplistic terms, which means, okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, you know, I have this ascendant. Maybe I'll be like this. Maybe I'll be like that. Well, actually, it doesn't work like that. See, the ascendant is like a playground. Okay, so, of course, now... Can you play football in a cricket playground? Can you play it? Uh, well, technically you can. But is it a very good place for football, a cricket playground? Well, maybe not, right? So similarly, mm, cricket pitch is best for cricket. But if you try to uh, play cricket in a football ground, maybe not the best option, right? So this means essentially you can still do things, but the difference is in the quality and the overall experience. And it can be the quantity also sometimes. So this means that there are so many things in this life, which in this world essentially, which you can do for every ascendant, in every ascendant, every ascendant can do that. But then there are those ascendants which who are known for certain things. But then the question is, uh, how do you know which traits of this ascendant will come out? How do you know which traits of this ascendant will be hidden? Okay, So that's very difficult to analyze because for that we need to do a comprehensive analysis which uh, is very difficult for most of the people right why because when you do a comprehensive analysis you have to take into consideration everything it's like literally everything uh, to understand so then what happens is we cannot just lie on, uh, rely on individual parameters. We have to see how everything is falling in place. You have to know how to connect the dots and that requires a lot of time, energy and efforts. So for example, I have videos on, you know, uh, secrets of ascendance like Aries, Taurus, Gemini, maybe Cancer. I, I, I don't know, but I'll make them soon and... Before we begin, if you're new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a consultation from me, you will find my website down in the description section. And of course, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of your ascendant. But let's take the example of Taurus ascendants because I have so many people commenting below that video that what you have said is matching 100%. But there are also people who tell me that you know what you are saying is not matching. In, in fact, it's exactly the opposite. So for example, for Taurus ascendance, if you see the Taurus zodiac sign, Taurus sun sign, moon sign, whatever, you will see they, they, they will say they are big time foodies. Okay, They are addicted to food. Now you will find so many Taurus ascendants who will say like, as I said, you know, in that video they have literally gone and commented yes i am a big time foodie and uh, and, I, and i'm loving it and i have no problem with it but then there are some people who say no actually not only i am not a foodie i am anti-foodie actually i don't like to eat you know i i, I just see eating as a burden now of course 99 percent of the people or not 99 80 to 90 percent of the people of any ascendant will say you know they are foodies so just because you are a taurus and i say okay you are your ascendant is a foodie ascendant and it matches it doesn't mean that i have done a very great job predicting something but taurus ascendants can have a bit more tendency of eating food unrestricted eating sometimes but then why are there people who say within taurus ascendants okay I do not like to eat, I, I, I like to fast and I like to not eat. 
and some Taurus ascendants may say, yeah, we eat sometimes uh, or we don't eat. I mean, eating food is not something which we like. It's like not like a delight for us. Neither is fasting, you know. So, okay, if we get something, we eat, it's, it's like a normal uh, part of life. But for some people, uh, yes, there are people who say, you know, avoiding food is like a very uh, cherished thing for them. So now that's very weird and very surprising sometimes for most of the people. But there are examples like this. But the question is, why does it happen? Okay, that's that's important for us to understand. See, the ascendant tells you, the ascendant is like, as I said, it's like a playground. But then the planets come and decide what kind of game will you play there. Now, as I said, if it's a football ground, and imagine the planets which like to play football. Which are the planets? <laughs> Can somebody write down in the comments literally which planet or which planets can signify the game football? But now to understand this example, let's take Taurus Ascendants. So we know Taurus Ascendant is ruled by Venus. And Taurus is the number two sign in the Kalpurush Kundli, the second sign. And second house is the house of food, as we know, right? Although Jupiter is the Karaka for the second house. But now, try to think which are other planets which also signify, you know, food or mm, something to do with socialization, eating or enjoyment and all this. Which are some of the planets? Try to think. Now we will see how we can relate them to the Ascendant. And we will see the other side also. So now we know Venus himself is one of those planets because he's the Lagna Lord, but he also represents food and which is but natural because he's the Lagna Lord and he has to represent that. Apart from that, Mercury and Venus conjunction can also show that you like to socialize a lot. Okay, But there are other planets like Jupiter. So if Jupiter is aspecting your moon or Jupiter is aspecting your Venus or Jupiter is aspecting the Lagna, that can also show sometimes that you like to indulge on food. Even if Venus is in the Lagna, that can show the same or Venus is in the seventh throwing the aspect on the Lagna. Even then this uh, can be indicated. And what, which are some of the other planets which can sometimes indicate? The Lord of the Second House can indicate that if the Lord of the Second is in the Lagna or the first Lagna Lord is in the Second, then also it can show that, you know, food and eating is a like an inseparable part of your life. So now suppose you are a Taurus Lagna and then your Second Lord Mercury is in Taurus in the Lagna. So then this can be amplified. Now imagine... Mercury and Venus both are in Taurus. This is like bumper amplification. And now imagine adding to that, you have Jupiter which is sitting in the fifth house. From the fifth, he's throwing the aspect to Mercury, Venus, and that to in the first house. Wow. Okay. But here it gets interesting. Now, if you see the other side, which are the planets which tell you to fast. Which are the planets? Well, we know Saturn is the Karaka for fasting. Uh, not fasting exactly, starvation. So let's interpret it as uh, fasting for the moment. Although fasting and starvation are two completely different things. Okay, But if you consider that uh, Saturn shows fasting, then now if suppose Mercury Venus is in the Lagna or Taurus and then Saturn is in the 7th, and he is throwing the seventh aspect, or Saturn is in the eleventh. From there, he is throwing the third aspect, or he is in the fourth house, throwing the tenth aspect to the Lagna. Then it can show that you might like to fast. But now this is a very uh, tricky situation because you have two Rajasic planets sitting in the Lagna, and then uh, one planet which shows fasting is aspecting the Lagna. So which one will prevail? Well, that will again depend. And apart from that, there are other planets which can show socializing. So, for example, the, Lug the Lord of the 11th house, if in the Lagna can show you like to socialize, the Lord of the 5th can show, the Lord of the 3rd can also show, 
the lord of the second can explicitly show food but third fifth or seventh or eleventh lords can show socialization so if your third lord fifth lord seventh lord or eleventh lord is in the lagna or with mercury or i mean with the second lord or with the lagna lord in this case venus or your venus which is the lagna lord is either in third fifth seventh or eleventh then also it can show that you have a higher tendency to socialize okay so then this means that um, in either ways irrespective of what you do there is you know some kind of socialization which is coming you know party or something is coming again and again and again so then the traits of taurus will be very amplified right and on the other hand if you have planets like the lord of the sixth house which again shows fasting sitting in the lagna then this can make things difficult which means then you might have some disease and then you might have to fast okay now here for taurus example it's very interesting because venus is not only the lagna lord he's also the sixth lord Okay, so this also means that if Taurus ascendants overindulge in food, then they will get disease. Okay. And now imagine the sixth lord is in Lagna and Saturn is also throwing the aspect to the Lagna. And imagine that eighth lord or twelfth lord is also sitting in the Lagna or they are also aspecting the Lagna. Then this can really show that either you don't like to eat or if you eat too much, you get diseased. Okay. So this 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 is an example to show you uh, that one same ascendant Taurus can behave in different ways, okay, depending on which planets are in the ascendant. So depending on which planets are in the ascendant or aspecting the ascendant, your flavor of the ascendant can change. Okay, so it is very important to study planets sitting or aspecting the ascendant. Okay, otherwise. Uh, we will not be able to understand which flavor of the ascendant is coming out okay so therefore please look at the ascendant do not miss the ascendant see the lagna lord see the planets in the lagna and planets aspecting the lagna okay so that will give you a clue of which traits of this ascendant will be in the forefront will be very 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 visible okay so for example if you are a capricorn and then, you know, if Shani is very impactfully linked to your ascendant, then it can show fasting or if Rahu is linked, then it can show, you know, you hate to fast or something like this. Okay. I mean, there's like a whole lot of analysis that you can do for this. So I would love to know from you uh, down in the comments, uh, according to you, what have you seen? So, if you have seen this plant is in the ascendant, then this has happened. You know, what have you seen? So, please write it down in the comments. I would love to see your answers and let's make this an engaging, actively enga engaging community. Okay. So, please write it down in the comments. If you write something, I will understand you made it till the end of this video. All right. Thank you very much once again. If you're new to the channel, then you will be able to subscribe down below. And if you want a consultation from me, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will surely help you to understand how your ascendant is functioning. Thank you.